Hi, this video tutorial I will cover how to configure Bone CP data source and connect to MySQL database. When we deploy a web application in Tomcat server, using contacts listener, we can initialize the Bone CP data source at the server startup. And we can use the same Bone CP data source throughout the application to get the connection and communicate to the MySQL database. Now we will see how to do that. Here you can see the city table and uh, I have written this query select star from city limit is 10 I am executing this query and uh, we got uh, 10 records now we will see using servlet how to get uh, this city information and display in the web browser to explain uh, bone cp data source I have created this project inside lib folder I have placed uh, bone cp jar and in web.xml I have configured uh, city info servlet and also I have configured uh, contacts listener this is the contacts listener class which implements uh, servlet contacts listener and provide implementation of uh, contacts initialized and contacts destroyed this contacts initialized method will be called during the server startup I will uh, deploy this uh, web application in Tomcat server I am starting the server server has been started here you can see contacts initialized method has been called contacts initialized bone cp data source is configured during server startup this contacts initialized method will be called and inside this method I am calling uh, configure bone cp data source method which is there in the connection manager class in connection manager class I have declared a bone cp data source variable and I have defined uh, getter and setter methods for bone cp data source variable and uh, inside uh, configure bone cp data source method what I am doing is I am loading a MySQL uh, database driver and I am creating bone cp data source object and uh, setting the MySQL JDBC URL and setting the username and password and uh, once I configure bone cp data source I am calling a set bone cp data source method and uh, setting the bone cp data source uh, variable throughout the application we can call uh, get bone cp data source method to get the bone cp data source object and from this uh, bone cp data source object we can get the connection object and communicate to the mysql database this is the url to access the web application before i access the web application i will open uh, developer tools and I am clicking enter and it is showing the welcome page this is the welcome page and it has uh, one link uh, show city information and href is uh, city info servlet actually this is the URL pattern which we defined in the web.xml I am clicking on uh, show city information link uh, the request went to the server and the URL pattern is uh, city info servlet so what server will do is it will forward the request to the servlet container what servlet container will do is it will check this URL pattern is there in the web.xml or not so the URL pattern uh, is there in the web.xml and configured the servlet is city info servlet so the servlet container will call init method of uh, city info servlet to initialize this servlet and in init method what we are doing is we are getting the bone cp data source by calling get bone cp data source method of connection manager
then servlet container will call do get method to process the request in do get method what we are doing is we are calling show city information method and passing the print writer object in uh, show city information method what we are doing is we are getting the connection object from the bone cp data source object and once we get the connection object we are calling a prepare statement method and passing the sql sql is uh, select star from city limit question mark and uh, this prepare statement method will return prepared statement object and we are setting the limit as 10 then we are executing the query it will return result set and once we get the result set we are iterating and getting each row information and displaying the output here you can see the output uh, we got uh, city information from mysql database this is first city information this is second city information like that we got uh, 10 cities information and after that uh, we are closing result set closing prepared statement and closing uh, connection object click on this link here you can see uh, general headers response headers and request headers and click on response so this is the output uh, we got from the server basically server will return html and uh, this html will be interpreted by the browser and uh, it will display like this i am going to shut down the server and the server is shut down and you can see context destroyed method has been called context destroyed and uh, boon cp data source is closed during server shutdown this context destroyed method will be called in this method what i am doing is i am calling a close boon cp data source method which is there in the connection manager and in close boon cp data source method what I am doing is I am getting a bone CP data source object from the connection manager and if it is not null I am closing that to get more information about bone CP go to this uh, joelbox.com website and we can download uh, bone CP jars from maven repository and uh, this is about how to configure uh, bone CP data source and uh, communicate to the MySQL database and thanks for watching.